Hey guys, Big E here again on uh, Big E's YouTube channel. Um, short video today. <clears throat> Had a 15 minute video yesterday on this console fabrication uh, project that I'm kind of in the middle of. <clears throat> Basically today, just wanted to bring you up to date on what's happening, what I did. Uh, put about three hours worth of uh, labor into the console cover. Um, <clears throat> and with that being said, here it is. We made our, we got our bends made where it bolts up to the, um, the front dash piece. We can see got our holes cut out. We got our back piece bent where it ends off at the, um, <clears throat> the compartment under your arm and put sides on it. Now the sides aren't very good because I don't have a bender. So I'm working on, <clears throat> I'm trying to come up with something that I can smooth out these bends because obviously that's not going to work. What I'm thinking of doing is a two pieces of plate steel and just kind of press them together. But for right now, this is what we have. <clears throat> the problem you can see with them small, the small openings, is the overcuts. And that's why I ground there. What I'm going to do, put a little bit of, um, when, I'm going to uh, trial fit this. I'm pretty sure this hole here is too small. I might have to open this one up. This one I might have to close up. But anyway... I'm going to use body filler on it. That's why I see, I mean, you can see it's kind of dull because I sanded it with 100 grit uh, sandpaper to kind of <clears throat> uh, rough it up a little bit. So that way, if I do need to put plastic filler in here, it'll bond to the metal. That's what you need to do is rough up that metal because if you leave it smooth, the plastic body filler will not grab as well as if it's roughed up a little bit. So I used 100 grit sandpaper on the whole thing. And I'm going to prime right and everything else. Plus it helps with that. Anyway, <clears throat> I added the, the push to start button here. I also added my interior override switch here for the interior lights. Also drilled out holes here for the new boot that I'm going to get. The leather uh, shifter boot that I'm going to pop rivet fast. So I already have the... I'm not sure if they're... I drilled the holes kind of on the small side. So that way, if I need to, I can come back and open them up for the pop rivets to fit. But that's what I wanted, That's the plan is to pop rivet the new boot on once it's painted. Uh, basically, I got to go trial fit this, make marks, probably open this up. You can see here I kind of cut too much. Um, <clears throat> but all in all, it's a start on fabricating the new console cover. Um, and you see a lot of grinding there too. Um, so... Like I said, it was about three hours worth of work. So I have no kind of, how should I say, no epiphany, no really huge thing that I learned today that I could share with you guys other than, you know, I took, it took me three hours to do this. <clears throat> Maybe the whole thing to remember is when you start doing a job, at least for me, is to stay focused on what you're doing and to be able to think on when you make a mistake <clears throat> being able to correct it now some of these over things i tried welding in didn't work and even with the welder turned down I, I was blowing holes in it so i got to the point where i just ground things kind of as smooth as i could and came to realization i'm probably going to have to use body filler on this so that's going to be my next thing but first i got to get this on the car <coughs> excuse me and see about these power window switch um openings um, that they need to be, I know at least the passenger side one is going to need to be opened up a little bit uh, because it's just, it, it to me looks like it's too small. So anyway, um, and like I said, I used 100 grit sandpaper on it and I think all basically, except for the side bends here on this side, I think it's pretty much, and a little bit of finessing it at this point, um, I think we're pretty much going to be ready for the next step of body filler. <clears throat> where we need it and um, getting it in primer and get everything sanded real nice so that we get a nice nice finish when we uh, when we paint it so um, also what I want to do on the back side here it's kind of ugly um, because I'm gonna have wires um, what I want to do is I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the whole thing in electrical tape um, I want to find <clears throat> like either a rubber matting or something that I can put on the bottom side of this because now that it's metal uh, I mean granted I soldered everything with the wiring that I did but you never know you have to consider 
over time if a wire comes loose and god forbid it's a power wire if it is it's going to hit that metal it's going to short something out so what i want i'm in the i gotta figure out yet what i can put on the underside of this thing God forbid that should happen, but in that case, should that happen where a power wire comes loose and starts bouncing around, rubber or whatever, or vinyl or whatever I can find to put on there, it's not going to short out because it's going to hit an insulator. So I got to put an ins I want to put an insulator on the underside of this in case a um, a wire would happen to come loose, so that way I won't a hopefully not have a fi electrical fire not have something short out because that's still an issue we're having right now uh, on the vet of having the short out um trying to figure i think it might be a fusible link i'm not 100 percent sure but we had snow today so i didn't have a chance to get outside and and really take a look at it so anyway that's that also i still have uh the contest going on for naming project vet uh so far I think we have like two suggestions up. So come on, guys, you know, step it up here. I kind of, you know, use your creative juices, come up with something, you know, for the vet, some catchy name, something cool that, and then uh, from the submissions I get, we'll try to narrow it down. We'll come up with a winner for the name for the vet. So anyway, um, take care of each other, watch out for each other, and uh, give your kids an extra hug today if you get a chance, all right? So next time, hopefully I'll have this thing in primer and have the, 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 the body filler done on it, all right? And that'll be our next video. So I will see you next time on Biggie's YouTube channel. Take care. God bless.